We spoke to Joseph Gregory Mahoney, a professor of politics at East China Normal University. We asked him what, th what he thought about the timing of Trump finally wearing a mask in public. I think it's really remarkable that, that uh, the man finally wears a mask and it becomes global news. Uh, but I think we have to go back to the early days of the outbreak in the United States when tr uh, Trump administration public health officials, uh, such as the Surgeon General, were asserting that masks don't work and, and even that they're unhealthy and that they can make you sick. And uh, you know that clearly became uh, something that was debunked and, and there was increasingly messages that masks were helpful. But for Trump, it, it was clear that they signaled a type of weakness and, and really ran contrary to his making America great uh, narrative. Uh, and so as a result, it, you know, it became this, this sort of uh, political symbol uh, that if you supported Trump, uh, that you didn't wear a mask. And if you thought that his uh, containment strategies were working, then you didn't need to wear one. Uh, and he even made this clear in an in a, in a interview with Wall Street Journal. He said that he thought people were wearing them as a, as a sign against him. But with the surging uh, corona cases, and especially in these so-called red states where his supporters uh, dominate, He's, his own supporters, his own constituents are, are increasingly at risk for, for uh, contracting the disease. And so I think this uh, is pushing his, his change of heart. And, you know, he now says that he was never against masks and he even likes the way he looks in one. So, uh, you know, we'll just have to take his word for it, I guess. But, uh, you yeah, know, I think the good news is, thank you, Trump. Uh, it's good to have people wearing masks and please continue to, to move in the right direction.